Mastering is the final stage of production in any audio project, whether post-production or music, and it's a critical part of the production process, the last chance to correct any small flaws in a finished music mix and to add that extra little sheen that can help present the music at its best and help a song to stand out at first listen. In the early days of analog audio, mastering was primarily a technical specialty performed by dedicated mastering engineers on specialized equipment to optimize a recording for vinyl disc, then the primary medium for audio and music distribution. But gradually it evolved into a production stage for any type of media, where the main goals are to troubleshoot any potential technical problems and to optimize the quality and sonic character of the mix or production. When audio production moved inside the box, plugins took on the task of providing those specialized mastering tools. Initially available as expensive, dedicated third party suites, eventually mastering tools began to be included with DAWs, as mastering was more and more often taken on by traditional recording and mixing engineers, as well as by solo studio operators who needed to keep the entire production process in house. That's where this course comes in. After a brief look at the history and evolution of mastering, I'll take a look at mastering in Pro Tools using, in almost every case, nothing but the included plugins or processes from the Avid Complete Plugin Bundle, an inexpensive subscription package that augments the built-ins with, among other toys, additional tools suitable for mastering tasks. These tools include a selection of EQs, both basic processors and character EQs, and a number of Dynamics processors suitable for mastering, again ranging from basic models to designs that bring a more analog sound in response to the party, courtesy of the plug-in bundle. The bundle also provides a multiband compressor, a very popular tool for mastering. Limiting is a key aspect of mastering, and Pro Tools includes a simple but capable brick wall limiter, while the bundle provides a more up-to-date unit, which includes metering to address modern industry standards for loudness and true peak levels. I'll cover all of that in detail in the course, the transition from the loudness war to the new broadcast and streaming level standards, something anyone taking on a mastering job at any level needs to be up on. Occasionally, a particular mastering project may call for some additional processing. I'll take a look at some of those less commonly used processes as well. MS, or mid-side processing, is a popular technique for some mastering applications. And while Pro Tools doesn't include a dedicated MS converter, you can still use this technique, either by manually implementing it with busing or via free third-party plugins. Pro Tools' multi-mono plugin format then enables the independent mid and side processing. Again, I'll go through all the relevant details. And finally, the course will look at setup and monitoring considerations for mastering sessions, present a typical mastering scenario for an overall look at the process and action in Pro Tools, and go over the final technical check, which utilizes special metering including vector scope, correlation meter, and spectrum analyzer, and the bounce down to the finished stereo master. But before I jump right into the tools of the trade, I'll take a quick look at the evolution of mastering and provide a brief overview of the basics in the next video.